let us see and understand one example of bottom up parsing okay so let us construct a bottom up pda now let, a, let us construct a bottom up pda now for simple for simple algebraic expressions simple algebraic expressions okay so suppose you have been given a grammar for algebraic expression as s gives s plus t s gives t t gives t multiplied by a and t gives a suppose this is the given context free grammar for you for which you need to design now the bottom up parsing for which you need to design now the bottom up parsing suppose you have a input string also that has to be processed suppose that input string here is a plus a multiplied by a it is a plus a multiplied by a okay so in order to get this uh, string okay uh, suppose you have a rightmost derivation suppose that rightmost derivation is like this s gives s plus t s gives t gives t star a okay then t gives a s gives t and again t gives a so this is how i do an acceptance also you this is a rightmost derivation this is a rightmost derivation now we need to construct a bottom up pda for this we need to construct a bottom up pda and then we have to solve its id notation also in the bottom up form so in order to do this in a bottom up pda we have basically four operations what are four operations let us see those four operations first there are basically four operations in any bottom up pda or any bottom up parsing for that matter the first is shift operation the first one is shift operation what we do in shift operation we shift we shift the input symbol we shift the input symbol from given input string from given input string on the top of stack on the top of stack so what we do in shift operation in shift operation we shift the input symbol from the given input string the current input symbol onto the top of stack so if i read a particular symbol say example a if i push this a on my top of stack that operation is called as a shift operation that operation is called as a shift operation so initially we need to perform shifts right because we have to start from the given input string and then we have to re reach to the starting symbol of grammar so for starting from given input string initially what we will push now on stack we will push the symbols from the given input string what we were doing in top down parsing we were first pushing this s correct that is starting symbol in the top down pda example if you remember of more a's than b's what was the first operation that we did we pushed s on top of stack over there because that was top down pda starting from starting symbol to input string but in bottom up pda what is our approach start from the given input string and try to reach to the starting symbol of grammar so in this case what we will do we will perform shift first of the symbols from the given input string onto the top of stack now once this symbol are getting accumulated on the top of stack with help of shift operation we have to reduce further those with help of production rule so that we can go in that direction and reach to s so we have to do reduction so what is our second operation our second operation is reduce so what is reduce we reduce some symbols on stack with help of with help of the production rules in the given grammar so say for example if i am solving this if i am i have pushed this a on my stack suppose and then i am reducing this a to t what i'll do what i call this i am reducing a to t then i reduce this t to s then i reduce this t to s then i reduce this t a to t then i reduce this t multiplied by a to t and finally i reduce this s plus t to s so in reduction what we do we try to find this that what i have to reduce what i have to reduce i have to reduce something which is present on right hand side of my production rule where is this a here right so i am reducing this a to t so in reduction we try to find this what is that is getting matched on right hand side of my production rule 
okay i got a matching a so i reduce this a to t then further what we did again i found i reduce this t to s then we reduce this a to t then we reduce this t multiplied by a to t and then we reduce this s plus t to s are you getting this right so in a reduce operation we reduce some symbols on stack with help of production rules in the given grammar and what we reduce we reduce the right hand side of production rule with left hand side okay we call this right hand side part as a handle technically we call it as a handle and we reduce this handle with help of left hand side of our production rule third operation is accept so if everything goes well what will happen at the end if you keep on shifting the symbols input symbols from your given input string on stack and uh, after you do reductions also at the end you will get starting symbol of your grammar on stack right what you will get at this at the end at the end you will be getting starting symbol on stack at the end because it is bottom up right so you will start from given input string and you will try to reach to the starting symbol so at the end you will have starting symbol of your grammar on the stack that situation will be called as accept and the fourth operation is error so any other combination that you are not able to construct will be reported as error so that this will be for non accepting strings this will be for non accepting strings so no other all other combination as none right so that will stand for an error so let us construct now pda with help of these four operations for our given language right so s gives s plus t s gives t t gives t star a t gives a so first let us construct for shift moves so shift moves are very easy shift moves so we'll have state input stack symbol and move okay so first let us write for shift moves first i'm writing for shift moves so first set of transitions i am writing for shift moves so only one transition consider that i am using two symbols okay so these are arbitrary symbols arbitrary means sample symbols so suppose i am in state q i'll be using only one state okay in this entire example we'll be using only one state i call that state as say q okay suppose i am getting some sample input as any sample input this input can be anything right for that matter this input can be anything from for that matter i have to shift this symbol so i am taking one sample representation so i want to shift this symbol and considering that something is there on my stack as of now something is there on my stack as of now so what shift will do already which whatever is present on stack will also there and whatever you are trying to push will come over that so this is indicating your shift move this can be anything this can be a plus multiplication t s so we have seen many symbols right so these this is just representing me a sample shift move this is just representing me a sample shift move next we have to write the deltas for reduce moves so how many deltas we will write for reduce moves for that we will check how many production rules we are having how many production rules we are having four so we'll have four reduction moves how many we will be having we'll have four reduction moves okay each one for each production rule one for each product now see this is as good as s gives s plus t or t correct because s has two options t has two options right so both the options are independently considered as two production rules right so total we have four production rules so four reduce moves we will be having in our pda four reduce moves will be having first let us write moves to reduce the first production rule what is first production rule s gives s plus t right so we are trying to reduce s plus t to s what we are trying to do we are trying to reduce s plus t to s how we'll do this will process nothing what will be there on top of stack first is t i'll take one intermediate step intermediate state called as q11 and i will not do any push and i'll not do any pop 
okay then from that one one i process nothing then i take plus from my stack q12 and nothing again q12 null with s q and i keep it to s what happens due to this is when i process these three symbols together i reduce all these three symbols together s plus t i reduce all these three symbols together in the form of s first there was t so i pop that t then if i get plus i plus pop that plus then if i get s then i reduce it to s so that total s plus t on the stack will get reduced to s so whatever right hand side things are there in reverse order first i'll write in my stack and whatever is there on my left hand side i'll be writing here at the end and how many i'll take these it depends on how many symbols are there over here i am taking these as my intermediate steps we'll take one more suppose i have second production rule what is my second production rule s gives t so i have to write moves to reduce t to s i have to write moves so what will be my second set now moves to reduce t to s so here only one will be there q null because i have only one symbol t it will be reduced to s because we didn't have more than one symbol so only one symbol so in one step it got what is next t gives t multiplied by a t gives t multiplied by a so here again i'll have three steps like we have in addition we have we will have three steps for multiplication here so moves to reduce t multiplied by a to t so how this will happen initially q null a then multiplied by then t null null i'll go to q some step i'll get this first production rule this is second production rule third production so i'm taking some name as q31 q32 and finally to q and to what i'll reduce this i'll reduce this to t q31 q32 what is the next last production rule moves to reduce a to t q null a q comma t and finally we'll have moves for acceptance so all four production rules are done right so shift moves are done and reduce moves are done okay so we have four operation right shift reduce accept error so for shift we have written one sample for reduce whatever number of production rules are there for all those production rule will write in this form and finally for acceptance so move for acceptance what are those moves we will be in q that time top of stack will now have s at the end so i'll go to state q1 and i'll pop that s in q1 null z0 i say q2 z0 which will be acceptance for me at the end correct so this is the table final table i would say for the pda bottom up pda which is non deterministic in nature for the given grammar of algebraic expressions of algebraic expression now for this pda now if i try to process my input string let us see how that processing will take place that is that is nothing but my id notation that is nothing but my id notation so let us solve that id notation again in the form of a table because now here my id notation comprises of two types of moves either the move can be a shift one or it can be reduce or at the end it will be either an accept or it will be a reduce uh, sorry it will be a error right so i'll have let us solve the processing of the same example which we had taken so processing of a plus a multiplied by a by the bottom up pda which we have constructed earlier right so 
what move what type of move i am doing which production rule i am using for this particular stage what is my stack and what is the part of input which is yet to be read so what is my unread input so initially on my stack what i will try to push is this symbols from my input so initially a plus a multiplied by a will be there on my input stack will be z0 what i will do initially i initially i'll do a shift so i'll shift a on my stack i'm shifting a on my stack right so what is the approach here approach is starting from the given input string what is the approach starting from the given input string and after doing this we will proceed further and somehow at the end we will try to reach to capital s which is starting symbol of our grammar on stack what was there in top down pda in the first occasion itself on stack what we push we push capital s and then we try to generate input string from that in bottom of what we do first we try to push the given input string and then using further reduce we are going to try to build capital s on stack i hope you have understood the difference between the two now right what is the next move i do i do a reduce what i reduce i reduce using t gives a so this a will become tz0 at that time i have not touched anything from this next again i'll perform a reduce using s gives t so this will become sz0 this will remain as it is next we'll do shift next we'll do shift so this will become plus s z0 and this is a multiplied by a next again we'll do a shift this will become a plus s z0 this will become multiplied by a then we'll do reduce using t gives a this will become t this will become multiplied by a then we'll do a shift which will be which will be multiplied by t plus s z0 this is a again we'll do a shift a multiplied by t plus s z0 this will become null further we'll do reduce by t gives t multiplied by a this will become t plus s z0 null further we again do a reduce of s gives s plus t this will become s z0 correct did we reach to starting symbol now okay then last is we'll pop that s z0 and we'll enter into q2 and finally we'll say that this is accepted this is accepted so this is how a bottom up pda is processing a string we have taken one example that is a plus a multiplied by a for algebraic expressions